Kaurangana people that we meet and we protest on, this land has never been ceded. And the lack of respect that has been shown to the Aboriginal people of the Port Adelaide community and of the South Australian community in the way that this funding has been ripped away from this institution is gobsmacking. How dare this government show that lack of respect to someone like Peter Buckskin and just say, no, your money's over. Go find some other money for yourself. How dare he say that to Doug Miller, who runs this place? How dare he say it to Pat Warrior-Reed? How dare he say it to any single Aboriginal person? No, you've had enough. You don't deserve any more. What a disgrace. Let him hear that. Stephen Marshall is the Premier and he says that he's the minister responsible for Aboriginal people. Well, if he is, then why is he taking the money away? Yeah. Yeah. On what basis? <laughs> A good theory. <laughs> now, this Port Adelaide community is founded deeply on the history of the Aboriginal people of this area. It goes all the way back. And what that says to me is someone who is not an Aboriginal person, what I think I understand when I try hard to learn, is that the Aboriginal people are all about education. How do you think Aboriginal people lived in this land for tens and tens and tens of thousands of years if they weren't fundamentally about education, about learning? And that is the pinnacle here. And what else has the Aboriginal community taught me? It's about standing up for your rights when you are being trodden on. It's not accepting it. It's telling people, helping people understand when they are on the wrong path and educating them so that they know that they can treat Aboriginal people with more respect. And what the Port Adelaide community has always been about is making sure that everyone gets a fair go. And no group deserves that more than the Aboriginal people who founded this country, who have lived here for time lost in people's memories, and we now come here to this year and we treat them with such disrespect. It breaks my heart. I am sorry on behalf of the non-Aboriginal people that it is possible to have a government that would treat you with such disrespect. I will do everything I can to raise this up. Kai am an outstanding leader for us in the Labor Party on Aboriginal issues, on so many other issues. He is saying everything that he can, doing everything he can do. But every single person here has a voice. Please use it. Do not let this